Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, it's hard to believe with temperatures like we have going on right now that we're going to be in the 50s mm. this I know. weekend. Looking forward to it. But as Tyler, you were saying earlier, if you're a skier, maybe not yeah, so much. It always it all depends on who you are and what you want. We could even have 60s on Sunday, so lots of swings. Someone asked me earlier about ice jams. It really depends on if any of the ice reformed or stuck around last time. Because remember, we've already had two thaws. So in a lot of cases, some of the rivers are just free, uh, free flowing at this point. Minus one right now in Saranac. We've got a minus four in Tupper Lake. And uh, as we move out to the northeast, Cabot checking in at seven right now, five in Waterbury. So this is a very cold night. I think this is the last of this kind of cold, though, for the winter. So if you think about it that way, it's not as bad going through sunrise tomorrow. And it's a really fast warm up, almost 30 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. The glaze of ice potential still there for Saturday night, and then it feels like spring on Sunday. So there's nothing on Storm Tracker. The clouds are even gone, so we can see the stars out there. Nice, clear scan. Gives us a breather before the next weather system comes in. Here's the sun tomorrow morning. I think clouds slowly come in. There could be a flurry too, not a big deal later tomorrow. And then Saturday, Saturday is still a nice day. There may be some rays of sun early, but the clouds win out. It ends up being a, a cloudy day. There's just not much wind though and temps are in the 30s. So I think Saturday is a nice day if you want to ski or do something outside. And then on Sunday or before we get there, this is midnight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. I know it doesn't look like much, but it would only take a couple of raindrops to make a thin layer of ice on the road. So that's at least a possibility Saturday night. And then the warm air surges in and a band of rain actually goes through in the morning and midday. Point being, though, it's not going to rain the whole time on Sunday. So uh, a breeze really warm and wet at times. That's the call for Sunday. And the impact weather is still there for Saturday night and very early Sunday morning for the possibility of icy travel just because some of those initial raindrops could freeze on the cold pavement. Even if the air pops up to 35, sometimes the ground could be a little bit colder. So that's what this pink color means for Saturday night and early on Sunday. Eventually, though, 50s to about 61. But you know how it goes. Any little bit of sun could maybe mean plus five on some of these. So maybe it's more like mid 60s in southern Vermont, all depending on how much sun we get. It doesn't last, though, so don't get too excited because Monday there could be accumulating snow. This is Monday, five o'clock, just one projection. But I think Monday and Tuesday both bring at least the chance for snow. Two little systems gliding by. So a lot to watch going forward. Very cold to start tomorrow and then feeling pretty good by afternoon. 29 in Burlington. Across the Tri-Lakes, low 20s tomorrow afternoon and a 32 in Brattleboro for tomorrow. So the five-day forecast has the dry weather during the day Saturday. That glaze ice potential is very late Saturday night with a low of 30. Then we shoot up to 56 Sunday. Little sun, then the period of rain comes through. And the snow chance is Monday and Tuesday, two days in a row. But a lot of days next week are in the 40s after that. So it definitely looks a little more like spring. Liz?